Nothing hanging out of my nose, have I? Bastards. Yeah. Oh, my word, I can't remember it. Can you cut this? Thank you. Old people are funny. If you've got it, it doesn't really matter how old you are. I don't think you're ever too old, never. I am 66 and a third. I like dressing up, sometimes as a woman. It's uh, what I was born for. I'm 61 and uh, I've just been told I can make people laugh, simple as that. Just passing through from the mothership. It's a drug, laughter is a drug. I love hearing laughter and I love laughing, so I'm a junkie. No one's ever taken me seriously before. My name's Jane, thanks for coming along to Embrace Arts today. What we're going to be doing is looking at some of the starting points of putting together a stand-up comedy routine. We're going to be working on some writing, um, also some stage techniques as well. And I know all of you are at different standards already. And by the end of today, I hope you will all have the tools you need to start to put together a stand-up routine that will hopefully make people laugh. I think probably traditionally comedy is seen as being a young person's domain and a young person's world, particularly in terms of stand-up comedy. But I think with Silver Comedy Competition, that's about to change. I hope we have some uh, rudeness and some cheekiness and playfulness. And I, I, think, uh, I think there's nothing really off, off limits in terms of what people can, can talk about and the sort of subject matter that they use as part of the competition. I go into the butcher's and he says to me, he says, I've got eight legs of venison. I said, that's two deer. There's only one gene that separates mankind from the apes. Did you know that? It's my auntie Jean. She's so proud. I went to see a film last night. It was about a happy cannibal. It's called Gladiator. This is a first, and it's a first for a, a nationwide silver stand-up um, competition. So we're very proud to be working with Dave Lester Comedy Festival um, to launch this. And we're very pleased with the support we've had from some very experienced um, comedians and entertainers. And one of the things I want to do is, is see what you find more comfortable. And a lot depends on your style of comedy. We can provide comedy trainers to support them developing acts. We would like more and more older people to be involved. Tempo on a flight, long haul flight. Climate change, going to think, make you think twice. Family of four, going to Barbados, cost them seven and a half grand. It's extra 40 quid. Oh, stick it up your ass. No. <laughs> Auntie Dorothy's got a static at Grange over Sands, we'll go there. It's difficult to break into the market, being older, I think. But that should never, that should never deter you, really. Because what's, what matters is, is doing it live and making people laugh. That sounds a bit cliched and whatever. But, it, all right, telly's great and it boosts your profile. But actually, getting on stage and doing it to a, a room of 50, a room of 500, that's what it's all about. I'm also launching a one-woman campaign to increase the age of women selling makeup in department stores. <laughs> Because uh, they all look about 11. <laughs> and I feel hesitant in approaching them to ask them about my problems. If you've been given that ability, then you should get out there and use it. And it doesn't matter how old you are. And it's such a valuable thing to be able to do to make people laugh, to watch the audience throw itself forward. You know, it's like a great big move in a football stadium or something. Be yourself. If try and find the way. That, for, oddly enough, that is the sometimes the hardest thing for people to do on stage, in fact, especially on stage. There's plenty of people I know who are quite naturally funny. They go on stage, they sort of freeze or they start talking in a voice that isn't quite them or be yourself. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the first ever silver comedy competition as part of Dave's Leicester Comedy Festival. I think we're expecting a lot of fun and a lot of innovation from the silver members of our community, aren't we, Julie? Absolutely. I think the, the, uh, it will be interesting to hear the type of comedy because the, there should be a lot of life experience uh, among the contenders. And I would imagine that they've been around the block a bit, so it'll be interesting to hear uh, their type of comedy. You're really weird. And I'd be thinking, if you knew I was wearing three knickers under my football shorts, you really would think I was weird. <laughs> The standard's been extremely high, um, both um, with uh, more established comedians, but also with some newcomers um, who have been extremely funny. So um, we're really looking forward to the event this evening. Anyway, I've been thinking lately, if I travel back in time and had sex with myself, would that be a crime? 
I suppose to a certain extent it depends on how far back in time I travelled. As far as we know, there's never been a competition like this before for uh, comedians who are over 55. So this is a national first, maybe even an international first, and it's great to have it as part of Dave's Leicester Comedy Festival. Young people in my day, we hung on to our virginity. We did. We didn't just throw it away willy-nilly. Um, we waited for the right Richard favoured the Plantagenuts, whereas Henry preferred to chew the coffee creams. <laughs> Next thing I know, she's taking my blood pressure and squeezing my testicles. Not both at the same time. I don't mean she's not squeezing both my testicles at the same time. I mean she's not squeezing my testicles at the same time as she's taking my blood pressure. That would be a misleading reading. <laughs> I can't believe it's not butter. Contains no hydrogenated fats. Isn't that too many negatives? <laughs> not to be true. Have you ever seen a woman with saving cream on her face? <laughs> yes? <laughs> I shall keep doing it until I no longer attract an audience or until I can't stand up. Can you get on a stage and on heart and say, I am funny enough to entertain a, a room of complete strangers? That is the big, that's the crucial thing. Give up. That uh, was the best advice I've ever had, but I didn't pay any attention to it, and uh, nor should you. Keep going. The winner of the first ever, and hopefully the first of many, uh, silver comedy stand-up comedian of the year goes to... I said I wasn't going to do it, but I lied. <laughs> Shirley Bridgman. I think what was nice for us, those of us that are uh, a little bit on the more mature side, it was a really even playing field. And um, for that reason, it was just really, really good fun. I don't mind holding this here, it doesn't work, look. <laughs> <laughs>